welcome to a new episode of review. Today we will take a closer look at an Albus A320-200 in the colors of Jet Blue. As always we start off with the box and here we can see on the front side we have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and we have the Jet Blue branding on top. Then on the back side of the box we have an image of the aircraft and we are provided with a web link by HAPA where we can get more information. So that's it for the box. Let's take a closer look inside and at the aircraft model itself. And here she is, the Airbus A320-200 off-JetBlue with the tartan tail fin design. JetBlue, of course, has not just one livery, but many applied throughout their fleet. And this one is the tartan tail fin uh, design. Of course, the aircraft also has a name, which we will come to a little bit later. Uh, as always, we start off with the tail section of the aircraft. And here we can see the JetBlue branding on the vertical stabilizer and, of course, the tartan tail fin design. On the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft, the flag of the United States of America and the aircraft type specification. We, of course, also have now the new addition to Airbus A320 um, molds of Herpa, the Sat Dome, which of course is very welcome. If we then move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of JetBlue. Underneath the cockpit windows, we then have the name of the aircraft. In this case, the aircraft is named May the Force Be With Blue, a nice link and reference to the blue coloring of the airline and of course Star Wars. Where I think the aircraft doesn't really match up to the otherwise really good standard is actually the cockpit area. We could definitely wish for more details here. The only thing we really have here other than the cockpit windows themselves are the window wipers which have been printed on just underneath. Very difficult to see, but they are there. On the engine nacelles, we can then find the jetblue.com web address. A very nice little detail. Also, the blue coloring on the engine nacelles looks quite good. On the fuselage, we then find the print of the emergency exits and the markings for those we then can also find on the wings if you look here at the top side where we also have the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out very nicely indeed. Also the underside is quite decent with a few details here and there. Also a very nice detail at the wings are actually the wing tips which look very nice with the dark blue coloring of the jet blue livery. We have seen HAPA having some problems uh, with the shape of that in the past but by now they have actually figured it out rather nicely. And then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front side of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A320-200 from JetBlue in the Tartan Tailfin livery. A very nice aircraft to have in one's collection. I think the only place where it's really let down is around the cockpit area where it definitely could uh, benefit from a few more details but the print quality overall is very good and also the physical details on this model are very, very good. Herpa has of course recently announced that they will release another A320 of JetBlue in a special livery around mid-2019 and as soon as that has come out I will definitely also make a review of that. Now with that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then do feel free to leave a like, that would be very much appreciated with that you show support for the series and of course the channel. And if you're new around here why not hit subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome and you won't miss out on any future videos here on the channel. Next time on review, we will take a closer look at a Boeing 737-800 from Norwegian low-cost carrier Norwegian Air Shuttle. Until then, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.